beautiful soul and welcome to the Heal Healer Tarot. My name is Angel, spiritual advisor, teacher, and healer. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This is a timeless energy read for the soul sign of Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury, however, I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find the Libra placements in your chart. If you don't know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. And the information for that, along with a bunch of wonderful great goodies, is listed in the description box below. Although this is a timeless energy read, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide you like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. So with that being said, beautiful soul, this reading is all about the Venus and the Libra energy, all about love and relationships. So whatever relationship or love interest is weighing most heavily on your mind right now, we're going to take a look at the energy that you're in, the energy that they're in, the current status of the relationship, what you want out of the relationship, what they want out of the relationship, and where the relationship is heading. We're also going to take a look at what joins you together, what is pulling you apart, and what aspects of the relationship needs nurturing and attention at this time. All right, beautiful soul, let's go ahead and tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for seven seconds. Release that energy and hold for seven seconds. And I want you to bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about it. And I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through, for they are for your highest good and your great soul's vibration. So with that being said, good souls and seven more shovels for knowledge. Wisdom, perfect self-expression, stability and security, power and refinement, harmony and So the energy that you're sitting in is confusion. You don't know where this relationship is heading. You don't know where this relationship is going. You're feeling as if though someone is manipulating you, trying to keep you confused, not really showing up emotionally, playing a lot of emotional mind games or trying to manipulate you emotionally. And there's this sense of distrust that you feel right now in, really, in this relationship. The energy that they're sitting in, mm, tower energy. Things are being shaken up in their world and in, your, in their environment. They may also be going through this epiphany moment where they're beginning to see something very clearly and from a more higher perspective. They're almost, it's almost like the energy of they're seeing the fault and the problems in their own ways. It's almost like they're being knocked down off of their high horse a little bit, needing to take responsibility for the part that they're playing and how this relationship is playing out. The status of the relationship right now is, you know, I'm really feeling like there is this emotional attachment or connection. Maybe some one of you or both of you are looking at each other as very attractive, very, you know, high vibrational, 
doing very good right now. I'm almost getting this sense of independence and moving forward on your own. So there's almost like there's a disconnect in this relationship, but there's a huge attraction, something that just keeps pulling you two back towards each other. What it is that you want in this relationship is you want to heal. You want to move forward with your life. You want to overcome whatever has been keeping you held back. You also want to overcome any sexual desires or attractions. It's almost like I'm not feeding into my desire for you, right? There's a lot of desire and attraction because I want clarity. I want emotional fulfillment. I want you to put down the mask, stop playing emotional mind games, and really show up in your authentic self. I want you to show me compassion and love. What it is that they want? <laughs> they just want to so, so, They just want to worry about fulfilling their own emotional needs and pleasures. Is the energy that I'm getting? They want wish fulfillment in an aspect of their life, but I'm almost getting this energy of selfishness only worried about their own needs and what it is that they want and what it is that they feel. And so this is the epiphany that they're getting at this time. Have I been overly selfish in this relationship? Have I been too focused on my own emotional fulfillment and not on my partner's? Where the relationship is heading? I'm almost getting like this energy of a standstill. No one's backing down here. Everyone wants to be in control. There's a lot of bravado, a lot of ego, a lot of control. This is also Aries energy as well, which is saying, you know, there's a lot of focus on independence and sovereignty and no focus on coming together in, in unity with this um, emperor energy. It's like, yeah, I'm going to focus on my own self, focus on my own growth, focus on my own stability, focus on bringing in, you know, more money more prosperity balance in my life. I'm gonna just focus on my Aries energy here and worry only about myself and I'm no longer putting any energy, time, or attention into this relationship. What binds you two together? Mm -mm -mm. Just might be soulmate energy here. With the yin and the yang energy, the integration of the masculine and the feminine, there is something about how you two relate to one another you know, the sun to the moon, the moon to the sun, it may definitely be energy of divine counterparts, yin and yang energy, and this need to heal whatever this standoff, whatever the solution is, open up an authenticity and truth, and share compassion with one another. So there's a sense of needing to have patience, right? Needing to have compassion. You have compassion energy that's coming out here twice. There's something about needing to have patience and compassion about this relationship in order for it to move and evolve to a higher level. What's pulling you two apart is this withdrawal, this sense of not speaking, not communicating, not being on the same page, seeing things or being stuck in your own box, right? Not seeing something from outside of one's own perspective, being a little bit stubborn and stuck in your own mindset, the way that you think things should go wanting things your own way and not being willing to compromise, not being willing to open up and communicate what it is that you feel in this relationship. There's this sense of holding back and not really being in harmony. There's no problem solving or no cooperation and working together at this time. I'm getting the energy of, you know, when they say every man for themselves, that's the energy that's coming through here. So what do you need to nurture in this relationship at this time? Mm, five of Cups. It's almost like a need to make amends, leave the past in the past. Don't keep bringing up old wounds or old issues. Release the sorrow and the heartbreak and be willing to move forward towards something new. But there needs to be an equal change and shift in energy. You know, if you're going to work together, you need to work together. If not, I'm almost getting the energy you need to separate and go on your own paths. What's the underlying energy for this reading? Yeah, following your intuition. Things that are being hidden. Things that you don't see. Allowing the inner voice to guide you. The all-knowing voice that comes from within. And this is the energy that you're in right now. Allowing your inner voice to guide you so that you have clarity, at least in your own field.
feeling, you have clarity in your own mind, feeling clarity in your own emotions, whereas you can't get clarity from this person, you know what you feel and what your truth is. And so it's almost like you're choosing to follow your own truth. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for this Seven of Cups energy, wanting to have a brand new beginning. But it's almost like I'm getting the energy that there's too much confusion, not trusting, right? Because the Fool energy is very faithful, very trustful energy, very innocent. But it's almost like saying, ah, don't leap too quickly, follow your intuition, you know, don't jump head first all into something. Be patient, hold back. Think things through. Make sure things are stable. Make sure things are what they are. That they're practical and real. And that it's not just the figment of your imagination or an illusion. Let's go ahead and look and see what this power energy is. This huge epiphany or awakening that they're going through. Five of Cups. It's almost like they're realizing that they're the ones that created all of the issues, all of the emotional problems within this relationship. Because the Five of Cups talks about guilt and remorse. It talks about sadness and loss. But it's a loss or a sadness due to your own actions. Knight of Pentacles. Taking too long. Not putting in the work or the effort. Taking too long to come in and offer something long-term, stable, or committed where the relationship is at this time. There's this, this desire and attraction to be together. There's this desire and attraction. You feel like home to one another. You want to build something long-term and stable. You want to put in the energy, the effort, or the work. It's almost like I want to open up and communicate, but there's something that's holding you back. And I'm really feeling like it's the energy of ego. What is this courage energy of what it is that you want? You want a brand new beginning in this relationship. You want something that's going to grow into long-term prosperity. You want to go from the one to the ten of pentacles with this person. You see this person as your soulmate, your other half, your divine partner. And that's what's got you stuck in this relationship. That's what you've been holding on to all this time. But there's too many irreconcilable differences here. Feeling left out on the cold, too much abandonment, too many issues that need to be overcome. And it's like you can't do it on your own. You need some you need a partner, right? This is the energy of not feeling as if though your partner is fully invested. This is also that breadcrumbing energy, not putting any energy or effort into this relationship. What it is that they want in this relationship? They want so I'm almost like they, they want reciprocity, they want balance with you, they want equal give and take in this relationship, or at least that's what they say they want, or is it only for their own personal gain? No, they want to take this relationship to a higher level. They see the divine soul connection that you two have. They know that you're a part of their soul family. They know that they're meant to be with you. They know that you're your divine counterpart or partner. And they want to put in more effort. They want to put in the work that's required. But they're also learning some very valuable lessons at this time. The Emperor Energy, Ace of Wands. So we've got that Aries energy coming out again. They want to have a passionate, brand new beginning and a restart with you. They're very highly attracted to you. And they want to express their love and passion for you but something's holding them back. Page of Swords energy, they're unsure. They're unsure how they'll be received. They're unsure if you'll open up and allow them to come back in. And so therefore, they're just trying to seek more clarity, more information. They're holding back and trying to see, and maybe even spying, looking, asking around, trying to get information about what you're doing, if you're with someone else trying to get a feel for rather or not you be open to communicating with them, talking to them. Is there any more hope or opportunity left in this relationship or no? What is this temperance energy? Love. Unconditional love. An outpouring of love. A brand new opportunity in love is here for you. Either with this person, love for yourself, or with a new relationship. Because you want to heal from the heartache. 
you don't want to have the conflict, the chaos, the battle that's going on anymore, the power struggle. You want to release all of that. There's a lot of change that's going on here. And you've come to a huge realization about this relationship. And now we have the tower coming in yet again on the energy of retreating, holding back, healing. This is a huge epiphany that someone is going through. Their world has been shaken, turned upside down. I'm almost getting they're definitely seeing the error in their ways and they're seeing things from a much higher perspective. I'm almost getting the energy of, you know, they didn't realize that they would be that affected by this relationship. This is a huge epiphany and a huge shock to them as well that they actually care this much and that this is bothering them. But this is course correction with the power energy. It's putting them back on the course towards their higher self. Ten of Wands, releasing some of those karmic spiritual burdens, things that they've been carrying, old ways of thinking, believing and doing things, releasing that energy, choosing to actually move towards learning something new, the ability to learn and grow, moving from the five to the six so that there could be expansion and harmony. But there's some burdens that needs to be released. Knight of Wands, needing to move forward, needing to communicate, needing to take the lead. There's somebody here that needs to take the lead in this situation. They need to come in and communicate, offer this passionate opportunity to have something different. And the um, Wheel of Fortune energy just turned over. I've spilled all the cards on the floor here. But it's definitely telling me that someone wants to move passionately towards what they desire, but there's this energy of sorrow or maybe rejection that's holding them back. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're definitely holding back, guarding their emotions. They're afraid to come in and tell you exactly how much you mean to them, what this relationship means to them, and there needs to be a final judgment call made here. There needs to be something communicated. Spirit is coming in and saying there's an opportunity here to bring this love and this relationship back together. There's an opportunity for you to communicate exactly what you truly feel. It's going to evolve this relationship to another level. Are you willing to take that opportunity or not? Let's go ahead and pull three messages of advice. Three messages of advice for you. Hmm. Take it moment by moment. Go with the flow. Don't force anything. Allow things to unfold naturally. Releasing the karmic burdens. This is a karmic soul tie connection here. And that's the reason why it's so difficult for you to let it go. But you're definitely blamed for gaining clarity, gaining understanding. This is the Queen of Cups energy. Cutting out things that don't serve your highest and greatest good. And this is the fear here. They fear that you're going to cut them out that you don't want anything to do with them, right? They want to travel towards you with the Eight of Wands energy. They want to communicate with you. They want to be in alignment with you, but they don't feel as if though you allow them to come in. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle messages. Oracle messages for the In reference to the spread. What additional messages does people need to know? Blossoming abundance. It is growing and evolving, right? It's almost like nine months energy that I'm getting here, like Empress energy. Within the next nine months, things are going to grow, and it's going to be a shock to you how this energy evolves. It's something that's going to be unexpected, but this relationship isn't completely over. There's definitely a final judgment call that has to be made before either party can move forward. Let's get an angel guidance message for you. We have the energy of power and intention. I'm almost getting the energy of, you know, decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now energy. Power and intention. What are your intentions in this relationship? What exactly do you want out of this relationship? That has to be your focus and attention. 
I'm getting the energy, all of that yellow energy as well as the violent purple energy which lets me know this is all about your focus, will, and attention towards your higher spiritual desire. And you have the energy of greed. So just let things unfold naturally. Don't force anything at this time. Things are in the process of working out. I'm getting that energy with the 29. There's almost like an energy of things evolving and changing over a two to nine month period. All right, beautiful. So it seems like a long time, but it'll fly by before you even know it. So don't make any moves right now. Let things unfold naturally. There's a lot of spiritual growth and lessons that need to be learned here. 29, energy, breathe. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. Patience in all things is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses. Breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. In relationships, don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment and the waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways. There's definitely a need to have patience through this process. All right, beautiful soul, let's go ahead and pull you three lovers oracles to continue your read. Three energies from the lovers oracle for Libra to complete this reading. One more shot. So beautiful soul, what is you waiting for? Hit that like button, subscribe, and become a part of the Soul Joint family. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Mm, this person keeps you in their heart. Wow, as do you. Look at this energy, all of this beautiful healing, transformative energy with the butterflies. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer to what feels right. Amen. I love it. And your last message, following your intuition, surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go. All will work out beautiful energy. So that has been your energy update of Libra. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. Hit that like button. Share these videos to those that you think that you benefit from these messages. Check out the description box below for all of the wonderful great goodies. Join me over at Facebook at the Hills Hill Tarot for daily <coughs> excuse me, for daily in inspirations and daily energy reads and subscribe to become a part of the Soul Joiner family where do we learn, grow, and expand together. We're going to raise the collective consciousness as one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul pass across again, Soul Joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance beyond to you. Love and light.